When you first start using Zibit, you'll need to connect your first sales channel to start. This allows you to import your products before you start selling on new sales channels. To begin, let's connect your first channel. If you already sell on multiple channels, pick the shop where you sell the most on. I have a shop on Etsy, so I'm going to start there. Here you can start the process of connecting your Etsy shop to Zibit. If you don't have an Etsy account, you can also create an account during this step. I already have an Etsy account, so I'm just going to continue to the next step. Now you can confirm that you'll give permission to Etsy to access your shop in order to connect it to Zibit. This will let Zibit and Etsy talk to each other. Just click allow access and you'll be on your way. Once your channel has been connected, you'll arrive to this page here. Your products usually take a few minutes to import, but once it's done, you can head to your products page and this is where you can manage your items or connect a new sales channel. Next up, let's add a new sales channel to your Zibit admin so that you can start selling your Etsy products on a new and separate channel. Hover over the plus icon underneath the channels to add a new channel. Now you'll be able to pick which new channel you want to connect. I'm going to choose Zibit Marketplace as my next channel here. Zibit lets you set up a Zibit Marketplace shop, but depending on what channel you're connecting, you'll be taken through the login or account creation process for the specific channel that you're connecting. Once the channel is successfully connected, you can now start selling your products on your new channel.